Alright guys, so before this video starts, I just want to make a quick announcement and that is that I'm going on summer break for the next two months, so there won't be any videos. And guys, if you're curious on what I'm going to be doing this next two months, I'll be posting channel updates on my Twitter and you can go ahead and follow me there. I'll also be posting the date I'm going to be back. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Today we'll take a look at Brackets. Now Brackets is a text editor like Visual Studio Code. Now I don't think that I'm going to be switching, mainly because I'm so familiar with Visual Studio Code, but one of you guys wanted me to take a look at it. So that's why I'm doing this video, just taking a look at it. So let's start with the cons. So the cons is that there's not enough extensions. And the second one is that it's really made for front-end developers. Now that can both be a pro or a con, but for me it's, it's a con because I'm a full stack developer and I like using the same editor for both the front end and the back end. And it's not like it can't do back end, it's just not really made for it. So there's no built in console and there's a bunch of things which I can't get really working. So for me, that is a just really a deal breaker. But there is a pro and that is that live server is built in and that's a really nice feature. So if you want to see my first impressions on it, I actually filmed the whole process where I installed it for the first time and went through it. It's just going to take a lot of time to edit. so. I really need like at least three or four people to say that they want it because else I'm not going to be spending the time on editing it. It's half an hour long video and you know that's going to take quite a long time to condense down. So guys, if you really want the video, I will take the time to edit it. But if nobody wants the video, I mean, I don't see there's really no reason for me to go ahead and spend extra time on editing it. So in summary, my main con is just that it's not really made for backend developers and I'm a full stack and the reason why I would not switch. Now, if you're going to be doing front end, I would absolutely pick it up. It is a bit easier to work with. There is, you know, some nice themes. There are some nice extensions. Now, in terms of like the extensions, it may just be me that, you know, didn't do my research because I just tried copy pasting the names and finding them that way and it just didn't give a result. And if there's any features or anything you think I missed in my comparison, then please comment that down below and maybe I'll go ahead and take a look at it and maybe that will change my mind on the editor. And the last thing I just quickly want to mention if you guys want me to do a front-end tutorial where I build some kind of web app using brackets, then comment down below if you want to see that. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.